Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you are new here. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a relatively big B&M haul. So, I went to B&M this week and picked up a few bits, um, so let's get into it. So, to be honest, this haul isn't as big as my last B&M haul because when I went, I actually struggled to find things this time around. There wasn't too much that I actually needed or any kind of new things that came in. So yeah, that's just a little disclaimer. Hopefully it'll be quite a lengthy video, but we'll see how much I actually managed to get. This time as well, I did actually um, pick up my receipt because last time I forgot, so I didn't have any prices to tell you guys. So I'm probably not going to do this in like a specific order because it's kind of a lot of random things, I won't lie. And first off I'm going to start with this, which is this revolving coffee pod holder. I've actually been after one of these for the longest time. I didn't want to really get one on Amazon because, I mean, they're quite, they're not pricey, but I just wanted to look around first. Literally went into B&M, one of the first things I've seen is the last one on the shelf So, you know, that's just trying to tell me something £6.99 as well, when the ones on Amazon are probably about 15 quid, Then you've got to get delivery, so I'm really really chuffed with this um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be the right one for the specific pods that we have But I got it home and obviously put them put it together and it literally is the exact one I needed so can't be happy with this purchase makes a really cute accessory as well in the kitchen and just makes things look a little bit more organized and I love that I hate having boxes of pods everywhere it just drives me mad so I'm so happy with this I'll pop on screen a little picture of it how it is with our coffee in that we've put together either a picture or a video so I did have to get a couple of kind of boring essentials, let's say. And Lou Roll being one of them, so I just picked up this six pack for $1.59, which is actually pretty good because toilet roll is bloody expensive. I mean, that will probably be super thin and not last us five minutes, but better than nothing. Another random buy was this duct tape. This is kind of an essential that we need though. So this was $3.99, which I actually thought it was low-key expensive, but I don't know. I don't buy duct tape on the on the daily, so I don't know how much it costs. But apparently, it's um it's three ninety nine. So this is for two rolls though, which isn't too bad. So this is just two pack duct tape, thicker quality. Um, but yeah, need that for hopefully potentially when we move and other things. It comes in handy like sending off parcels and returning stuff. It's just easy to have. Another thing we needed was tea, so I picked up these tea bags from Tetley. Um, I don't normally have my tea from Tetley, I normally go for PG tips, but I'm not too fussy. They're probably all very, very much similar. This is 120 bags, and how much was this? And it was only two pounds, which is pretty good to be honest. Again, because tea and things like that are pretty expensive, especially like jars of coffee and stuff. So two pounds for all of these, you can't go wrong. We also needed some um, toothpaste. I knew it said toothbrush and some toothpaste. So I picked up these two just to kind of try different ones. So they're a pound each. Um, I probably used this one in the past, but not for a while. So this is just a, I don't really know what the difference is to be honest, but it, it's, it's a green a green toothpaste and then a regular one, a pound each. Not much to say about toothpaste, let's be honest. Looking at my receipt, there's actually not a lot on here. I'm hoping this is enough for a video, but I genuinely was like concerned at how little I picked up. Normally I go in there and I spend so much money. I haven't been in months and I needed I knew I needed a few bits, but you know when you go in there and it's just like, you see things and you pick it up. You don't necessarily plan everything you're gonna buy because it just pops out at you. And yeah, that just didn't happen this time. There wasn't a lot in stock, I won't lie. Oh, sorry I keep fiddling with my hair as well. I've just literally had it trimmed and I am so happy because it was so dead on the ends. Um, but yeah, that's not relevant. And my neck 
is very patchy because I need to wash off this fake tan. So let's kind of ignore, ignore that and move on. Some little foodie bits I got. So I picked up these Skinny Whip, like cereal bars, whatever you want to call them, snack bars, because these are supposed to be quite good if you're trying to cut down, maybe eat healthier alternatives. So I picked these up as I'd had quite good reviews on these. People eat them a lot, like when I watch TikToks and stuff and like what I eat on days to lose weight and things, people always have these and I've never tried them before. So I'm gonna give them a go because they're less than 99 calories. This is the toffee and chocolate flavor. Um, and I normally go for like the fiber one bars and stuff, but they're bloody expensive. Um, and these ones were only a pound. So a pound for five bars, not too bad. I also picked up a jar of Dolmeo like bolognese sauce because we needed that. And that was only 89p again probably cheaper than buying it from you know like tesco or asda or your supermarket it is probably cheaper to get things like that in b&m and i also picked up a six pack of pepsi max cherry because they were i think how much were they four is it four pound oh no what am i on about two pound fifty it's pretty good that's the six cans um I would show you but I've actually drank most of them. I went to B&M a couple of days ago so most of those have now gone but yeah for six of them you it's such a good deal and they do also have like Diet Coke and other flavours as well it's not just that one so love that. And lastly for food I actually picked myself up this chocolate bar because I always have to get some sort of snack when I'm in B&M like you can't not. And I've seen this one around for a few months now in multiple stores. And I've always just looked at it and just thought, that looks disgusting. But I'm really, really intrigued by it and want to try it. So I love squashies, drumsticks. I love chocolate. So we'll see how it goes together. I mean, I'm not convinced, but I did just give in and just think, well, I'll just try it. So I will let you know the verdict on that one. Um, who knows, it might be the best thing that I've ever tried. And that, by the way, was a pound as well. Okay, so another thing that's kind of a bit more homey that I should have probably included at the start when I showed you the coffee holder is this little storage box. So I'm a sucker for these. I have so many of these with my rice in, pasta, basically everything. And I wanted to get another little one to put in like couscous and things like that. So I picked this one up, £2.49, a real bargain because these can be quite pricey. Um, so it's just like a vacuum one, so you pop the lid off and then obviously you put everything you want in there. And I love the fact that it's a clear tub as well. I will use my label maker to make a label to stick on that because I have serious like organisation problems. And yeah, I just think it looks so aesthetically pleasing, keeps things nice and stored and yeah love it so a couple of little kind of in the shower bits that we needed i needed to get some um brain fart bubble bath because we're running out and they didn't have a massive choice of bubble bath they had two radox ones one of which was like a muscle one and another one which is like a i don't even know what it's supposed to do it just smells really good that we've actually got at the moment so I didn't want to buy the same one again because I like to try different things so I actually seen this brand Radian B and I picked up this muscle soak version to try this out because this has lavender in and it helps to warm and relax a stressed body apparently so looking forward to having my next bath and giving that a go and then Ryan also needed some shampoo so I just got him this zesty orange Alberto balsam shampoo I'm currently using a Oh god, what's the brand of it? Hask, I think that's the name of the brand. A Hask shampoo and conditioner. Um, and Ryan's not really fussy when it comes to that sort of thing, so I just picked him up one of those, which I think was a pound. Oh, and the um, foaming soap was also a pound. I also wanted to pick up some of these little Femfresh wipes, as they're handy for, I guess, kind of on the go, and like, if you just feel you wanna have a quick you know, refresher 
And yeah, so I grabbed these again. I think they were a pound. Yeah, everything seems to be a pound. But yeah, there's that. And then another essential that we needed, well, I didn't need, but Ryan needed, was some more deodorant. So I got him this one, which he loves sure the most out of all brands. And I wanna say this was like two pound. It's one pound 49, so not too bad, because it's quite a big bottle and that'll last him a while. Much cheaper again than Tesco and anywhere like that. It's really sunny out, which is why I'm in like this little vest top and I'm actually getting pretty, getting pretty flustered and hot. Okay, here's a little something that I wanted to try out. And this is their tea tree essential oil. So I use the tea tree um, body shop range, like the cleanser and the toner for my skin because my forehead especially does get like breakouts and stuff. And I wanted to try the tea tree oil that body shop do, but I haven't gotten around to buying it yet. So I came across this one in B&M and I thought, well, we'll give that a go. It says tea tree oil for skin and nails. This is a 30 ml and the directions for use literally just says apply one or two drops of neat oil to a cotton wool swab or bud and gently apply as required. So I feel like it's obviously quite a product that you can be quite sensitive to, like it's probably quite a strong product. Um, so I guess they don't recommend to just chuck it all on, you've got to be quite precise with it. So I'm going to give it a go and see what it's like. It does say here on the back as well to not use it on non-allergic people, which I would have thought would be the case for anything. And I'm sure this is so much cheaper than the Body Shop one as well. So this one is £1.49, which is a great way to kind of try it out and see what it's going to be like. I would open it up, but I can't get into the um, plastic without cutting it with a pair of scissors and I don't have any in front of me. But I'm sure if I like it, it'll probably be in one of my monthly favourites videos because let's be honest, I'm not really trying anything new at the moment. So anything new I do buy tends to end up in, in my <laughs> favourite videos. So if you haven't seen any of them, please go and check them out. Okay, now I'm going to get on to cleaning stuff. Again, apologies, there's not a ton of things here. Just a few bits that we needed and a few bits that I picked up. It looked cool. So... I've wanted one of these for the longest time and this is a plug-in air freshener. These can be quite expensive and this is like a starter kit. So you get the plug and you also get one of these. I think this is new because this is like the new limited edition scent which is peony and cedar. Is it cedar? Cedar. Yeah. Peony and cedar. So you obviously just pop them in there plug it in and I'm guessing it's automatic every 45 minutes there's a new scent so I thought what a great way to start it with a limited edition scent this one was £4.99 which is quite quite good and obviously now I've got the plug all I need to do each time I go and top it up is just buy the refills which I think are actually about £4.99 on their own to be honest but I think these will last me quite a while so I'm really excited to get that plugged in and hopefully it smells fresh and floral like it looks. So I grabbed these wipes as well from the range Fabulosa. These were £1.49 and how many did you get in here? 80 so quite a lot. It says effective against coronavirus at the top. <laughs> and this is in the scent Wild Rhubarb. I have used one of these so far and they smell delicious. They're just super fresh. So it says cleans and shines, multi-surface, long lasting freshness and bleach free. So they're just an antibacterial wipe and it says suitable for vegans. It kills 99.9% bacteria. What am I now, doing an ad for it or something? I don't know. But anyway, always good to have wipes just to quickly wipe down a surface or if you spilt something just really handy so for £1.49 these will last me probably a good month or so. There's actually less cleaning products in here than I thought. Oh we're nearly at the end. Um, I picked up these sponges because we always need washing up sponges we go through them like no tomorrow. So in here you get 12 and these ones were Ah, 65p. It's 
water. I couldn't find it then. 65p. What a bargain, man. Amazing. Love that. And then lastly, I think, for this haul, I'm pretty sure that's everything now. So apologies if this isn't the haul you were looking for or as long as you wanted it to be. But lastly, I just picked up this little mini hand gel because I need a new one for my car. I like to always keep one in my car just so when I go to the gym or the supermarket or whatever, I can get in my car and just give myself a pump of that and I won't feel, you know, gross. And that one was a bargain as well. So that one was only 29p, can't go wrong. So thank you everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoy and I hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're doing so far. Please give this video a like if you did enjoy this and also feel free to subscribe if you're not already to help me reach my goal of 200 subscribers. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!